one, I'm Donna Bush with your CID television news brief on this Tuesday evening. Dozens and dozens of young people, dignitaries and parents attended the Planning for Youth Success Conference and Youth Day on Saturday. Held at the Arts and Recreational Centre in Kimana Bay, the event provided the platform to talk all things youth. Various government ministers spoke, including Minister of Youth, the Honourable Isaac Rankin. We, as the government, recognise the importance of supporting our youth and creating opportunities where they can learn, grow and develop their skill sets. One of the other ways in which the ministry is creating opportunities for the youth is through our grants program. This initiative allows young people and any other organizations to apply for funding for various initiatives related to youth, sports and heritage. And we, like many other uh, governments before us, have supported student athletes who are pursuing their education while continuing to develop their skills in the respective sports. Opportunities are also afforded to the youth through the Youth Services Unit, an entity that came under the ministry. And in 2022, two young Caymanians were appointed as Cayman's CARICOM Youth Ambassadors. Organizer and founder of the Support Our Youth Month back in 2010 and Celebrate Our Youth Day in 2017, Dr. Sylvia Wilkes says, it takes a village to raise our children. I am proud of every young person that do well, but those who do not do well, I take responsibility for it as well. Because if it really takes a village to raise a child, we're all a part of this village, right? And I tell people, if you want an understanding of what the village is, look to the developmental assets. It takes the church, it takes the schools, it takes the youth organizations, it takes the parents, all of us. I used to be the, one of those persons, though, the parents not doing this and the parents, no. They are the foundation and they have things they need to do, but we all are part to play with it. We're there to support the parents as well, and we're, we're, we're supposed to be a part of the community that helps raise these children. Keynote speaker Cora Colebroke, uh, the permanent secretary from the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture in the Bahamas, gave her virtual address while Cayman Islands Deputy Premier, the Honorable Andre E. Banks, had this to say to the young people in attendance. I'll say it one more time. Our greatest natural resource is the minds of our children. And what that means is that no matter whatever industry we're involved in as a country, we cannot do it in the future without you. And whatever new industries we get involved in, we cannot do it without you. Again, the event held at the Kimana Bay Recreation Center included various presentations and talks throughout the day. Speaking of our youth, this year's annual Clifton Hunter High School Careers Fair attracted hundreds of 14 to 16 year old students in year 9 to 11 last week. Staff from almost 40 local uh, organizations and businesses engaged with over 550 students at the high school in Northside. So every year we um, celebrate the various careers that we have or in the business and companies in the Cayman Islands. So we prepare our students by having um, assemblies with them, in particular our year nines who are going on to choose their option subjects. So the whole idea here now is that they will speak with the companies that are here, get an idea of what the requirements are to work in that particular business or industry and they can use that to choose their options in year nine going into year ten. I think students will take away stuff like the subjects that they need, seeing that we're year 11s or year 10s, they get to choose the subjects that they need to get into these jobs. For example, for medicine you'll need like sciences, so they'll know what to take, what subject to take, they'll know what school to go into, what universities to go into, where they could go for university, how they could get scholarships to go into jobs like that. I think this event is um, very useful when it comes to helping children to, you know, um, to get opportunities to go into the career path that they might, that they might be interested in. As mentioned earlier, the annual fair provides an opportunity for local organizers to partner with the Clifton Hunter High School in educating students on the needs of and opportunities available in the 21st century job market. 
We want to tell the students what exactly it is that we offer in the way of training opportunities because we have a full suite of training opportunities and we support students from the age of 15 upwards in their future law career. All right, let's have a look now at our Tuesday evening forecast and over the next two days, tonight's forecast calls for cloudy skies with a low 20% chance of showers. Seas will be moderate with wave heights of three to five feet while the two-day outlook is for similar weather conditions through to Thursday afternoon. A reminder to check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for a look at your local weather conditions. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us. If you watch us on YouTube, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all of your key government information right here. Have a great evening, everyone.